What's going on there, folks? Good evening, Earthmaster here on the live stream with an update video on this uh, September 27th, 2021 date, 9.27 p.m. Uh, it is Monday evening with the uh, latest quake on the globe. It's going to be a 4.5 down here in the South America region. A little bit of swarming activity kicking up there in the deep region of the Peru-Chile Trench. Also some activity taking place all around the globe in some unusual spots, including some region regional earthquakes out here along the east coast of all places. Let's go ahead and check out what's going on here on the USGS map. I'll we'll jump right into it here. You can see a couple earthquakes out there in the uh, eastern part of the country. In the United States, the all magnitudes there kind of doesn't really add too much, a little one. Uh, there was a couple earthquakes down here in the South Carolina region near Somerville. Uh, it looks like they had a uh, a couple earthquakes. 2.8 earlier today. Uh, that was followed up by a 2.0 and now a larger quake, a 3.3 earthquake, all within the same vicinity right around the Somerville area. The depth of these earthquakes uh, roughly about six kilometers. So kind of watching that uh, activity pretty closely. We did have an earthquake up here in the Appalachian Mountains of Virginia region, a 2.6 near Lafayette. Uh, kind of wondering what's going on out there. Let's check out the U.S. hazards, right? Well, the earthquake activity right out there in the South Carolina region is in a, uh, a highly earthquake-prone region, right? A lot of people don't know about it, but it's marked here specifically on the USGS hazard map. Uh, a lot of dynamics here when it comes to the uh, uh, stress and fault systems out there. So not unheard of, it's right smack dab in that uh, brown, kind of brownish area, indicating the uh, potential for seismic uh, hazard. So uh, yeah, kind of interesting to see that uh, activity kick up there, but uh, it's possible. So be on guard. Uh, we did have some further movement down here in the Gulf of California with a 4.4 .4 earlier today. Also some activity uh, ramping up throughout the San Jacinto Fault area, Ridgecrest and through the Sierra Nevadas, once again, no unusual swarm, swarming activity to uh, talk about at the moment. Uh, we did have a little earthquake out here along the San, or the uh, Cascadia subduction zone at 2.8 at 10 kilometers. Uh, movement into the Pacific or uh, Intermountain West region, kind of, uh, kind of picking up a little bit with some swarming activity being uh, jotted down here on the map from the USGS. They did have a little bit of swarming activity that they're kind of playing catch up on um, there in Yellowstone yesterday and I think a little bit early this morning too. But uh, looking over the last couple hours, last few hours here uh, during the day, it looks pretty quiet here at Yellowstone National Park. I don't see any further continued swarming or anything like that on the USG or on the uh, uh, seismograph stations there. Uh, regional over here around the Hawaii area, still seeing some movement on the southeast flank over here. Also a trail of activity uh, from the Pacific uh, just off the coast, stretching over towards the Kilauea Volcano Crater area. Got to watch this region pretty closely, uh, looking like it could start uh, possibly, uh, you know, doing its thing again. We'll see if that, uh, if that really uh, happens or not. Uh, looks like we have been watching a little increase in swarm activity there in that region so what else we got here folks let's move around to the uh let's see wow check out over here super quiet folks we don't see that too often here along the uh, vanuatu solomon island samoa tonga fiji region indonesia zip zero according to the usgs here nothing above 4.0 threshold kind of quiet very quiet in fact man look at this entire pacific ring of fire that's odd it's very very odd so we got to look at the areas right now where well not only the quiet areas but right now we're kind of looking at a lot of stress um earlier along the uh, gulf of california region but also the deeper movement here into the peru chile trench where we've seen the latest quake of 4.5 at 133 kilometers um that was a 4.4 so it's going to be this one here a little bit further inland um, up north but into the subduction zone no doubt 133 kilometers deep into the peru chile trench uh, major player right there and producing some significant size earthquakes 
So, yeah, just some odd, oddball earthquake activity. You know, I think things get stuck. Uh, you know, stuck, I guess, is the word, right? Because that's kind of how you get earthquakes with a buildup of pressure. So things get stuck. Resistance gets high in certain areas. And I kind of think that's where we're at right now along the Western Pacific. And uh, just kind of a kind of a guessing game right now now where we could see some significant movement. Um, they did have a few aftershocks here in the um, Crete region. Uh, could say a, a large number of aftershocks following the 6.0 that struck. Uh, quite a few fours and whatnot kicking up in that region. And also some activity here around the uh, Afghanistan region and areas to the northeast showing some uh, movement. There's a little earthquake off the coast of Japan earlier, uh, 4.9. Gonna have to watch that. That was kind of up there around the Japan Trench. Not too deep, not too shallow in an area where we could see some further movement uh, taking place here. So kind of keeping an eye on that region for sure. Uh, what else we got here, folks? Uh, moving over here towards the east. Stand by for one second. Okay. Uh, the Atlantic Ocean, Mid Atlantic Ridge area, seeing a little earthquake activity, 4.6. But uh, man, this crazy, a crazy night ahead, I think. The Alaska region seeing some further movement way up to the north here, northern Alaska. A 3.5 way up there and also some movement once again into the subduction zone here along the uh, Pacific North American uh, intertwine, if you will. Uh, let's see what else we got here for the trimmer department in the Cascadia subduction zone. Wow, holy smokes. That's the largest number yet in how many days? That's a lot, folks. 706 I think the Cascadia is not. Uh, I think the Cascadia is. Uh, I think her time's coming up. His time, her time. I don't know what it is, but its time is coming up. A lot of subduct, a lot of uh, trimmer going on. Uh, most of it over the past few days has been confined to Southern Oregon, Northern California. This is a large amount of trimmer. This is slippage that's taken place down dip downstream. Basically, uh, these are kind of slow release earthquakes, but two plates. Uh, kind of moving and grinding against each other, creating a vibration, if you will. Not a sudden release of energy like an earthquake would, but they do have, even, even though they're kind of slowly um, creating vibrations as they slip past each other, or as a subduction uh, happens, there is an M energy that is being uh, recorded and, and picked up. And this here is the energy of all those trimmers, 706 epicenters of trimmer. That's a lot, okay? I think we need to go back and take a look at the, um, we can go back over the last week here. Hold on a second here, folks. Um, last week, what do we got? Significantly large number, well over 3,000. Look at that, 3,000. 233 there's a whole bunch of threes in that number right there let me tell you i've been seeing those all over the place so and most of this activity folks northern california southern end of the cascadia but not only are we getting the southern end picking up now within the last two days we've seen that movement along the northern end kind of up around the seattle area uh, so no doubt with the trimmer we expect further build up of pressure along the locked section of the Cascadia. It kind of makes sense, right? It just doesn't disappear and say, whoop de doo now we're all better, right? Put a little band-aid on it, get a little slippage, and there's no more buildup. That's not how it works. Uh, we're getting a lot of buildup here along the Cascadia. So more and more trimmer, more and more potential for that mega quake to happen off the coast of Oregon uh, or even possibly just here at the southern end of the lock section. I think that's more realistic. Uh, but then again, who knows? Intervals tell us it's between 250 and roughly 500 years, but the last one was 321 years ago. So um, we just got to see what happens. But I think the more and more trimmer that we see, the more and more possibility. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Stay safe, everyone. Um, we will chat you guys another time. What do we got? 2.6 up there around the Alaska region. Just kind of talking about that subduction area. Um, but man, everything tells us right now, movement along the North American plate picking up. Have a good night, folks. We will chat at you guys a little bit later on. Stay safe, everyone. Peace out.